assembling the materials and putting the paper together and the embellishments, and that is what is giving me joy. That is not the direction. I don't believe that's the direction that joy flows. I believe that joy starts inside, and then if we allow it to come forth, we allow it to manifest into what we are doing. So, so many times we're looking for something to bring us joy. But the joy comes from outside, if we, inside, if we allow it to manifest. So we are going to close with this final question. And I would love for the panelists to um, really just think about something very succinct and powerful that you want to share with the ladies today. And so I'm going to combine two of the questions. And, and one of the questions was all about how to begin to speak your truth. And the other question was re related to how do you show up and let your voice be heard? And so I'm going to combine those together because I think, from my perspective, that you have to know your truth before you can speak your truth. And so what advice, tips, or words of wisdom would you leave with our ladies on the importance of knowing your truth and speaking your truth? Well, I think it's been said several times today. You got to claim it in order to be able to speak your truth. You need to know what that truth is. And so, really, um, instead of doing this performing and relating to you know having the performance of all that you're doing, is start um, really being aware of and mindful of who you're being while you're doing what you're doing, and bring that bring that. It's not about what you do. It's about who you are and what you do it is. Well, I think when you ignore your truth, uh, what you're doing is you're abdicating your responsibility. Um, if you know what the truth is and you don't speak it, then you are not being the person that you are designed to be on this planet. If you, you are not being a contributing member um, of the society, of the world. So your responsibility is to speak the truth because the truth can change. It will change you and it will change those that hear you. I think that um, speaking your truth can be the easy part. I think it's knowing your truth that's mm -hmm. hard. And, I, and we, as a society, we're not allowed to be still and quiet. We're not allowed to be introspective. We're expected to do, 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 and give, 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 and talk all the yeah. time. So I think it's hard to just find a quiet moment to be introspective and to think and to listen to what's going on in your own mind, to listen to what your spirit is telling you. Um, and that's really that the little voice in your head gets squashed. But if you can be still and listen to that little voice, it's pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Kind of along those same lines. Take your time to find your truth. Don't feel like you have to do it today, tomorrow, or next week. You'll find it. You just have to live your life, find the wisdom, and then you'll find it. When you find it, you will know it. And then it's really all about integrity then, because then it is up to you to be passionate and speak your truth which reflects on your integrity. I agree that the hardest part is finding your truth because we have a hard time standing up and saying, this is what we're really good at, this is who I am, because we've been trained not to do that. So one of the things that I do when I'm with the communication thing, working with people trying to describe themselves, is I say, if you could be a fly on the wall and hear people you respect describing you, what are the words that you would want them to be using that would really resonate with you, that would make you feel proud of the person that you've become, that you could look in the eyes of someone who helped to bring you up and say, I lived up to what you wanted from me. Think about the, what those words are, and I think that's a starting point to help you find the truth of who you are and who you can continue to become, because there is no who you are. There isn't a destination. My word would be useful. 
Like, I want to know that I was useful. <laughs> and um, to go along with that is I am not useful when I am going 100 miles an hour, mm -hmm. doing 100 different things, like what, what Meg was speaking about, that I really believe we have to create space for ourselves. But a step deeper than that, we believe that, I think, and this again is American culture, that you know, learning is this linear path, we go to the next level, go to the next level, go to the next level until we're what, like, I don't know, amazing or something? Um, <laughs> um, but if we look outside in nature, it doesn't work that way. And, and why do we think we're so different from nature? So what happens in nature, you know, there's a time of darkness, there's a time of light, mm -hmm. there's a time where the seed is planted, there's a time of harvest, there's a time of dying, there's a time of rebirth. And so that we, I believe, so, so for me, I have to follow the cycles of my life. And right now, being a mother is a big part of that, being a business owner is being a big part of that. I also know that I have to have time to renew. So a couple years ago, I started taking um, four weeks off in July, and I take at least two weeks off in December. The minute I started doing that, I started making way more money. So, I know it doesn't make sense logically, but I had the energy I needed and I did the things that I loved. So, follow, you know, when are the times that you need to rest? When can you create a clearing to do nothing? When can you give yourself permission not to have some outcomes? You know, corporate America, we met our goal. Good, let's up it by 10% next year. Come on. You know, so what, what are the rules that we're living by and how can you, and, and if there are rules, that are vastly different than nature, it's probably not going to work out so well. I love Melissa, break the rules. Um, you know, what I would say is that um, one of the things that, I mean, I am kind of like really more in your face bold. I would say that when I want to know my true self, because we put on so many faces mm -hmm. and we put on these beautiful clothes and we put on the makeup. How do you really speak the truth when you're clothed and everything else? When I really want to have a conversation with myself, I look myself dead in the eye, butt naked in front of the mirror. When you get naked before God and get naked before your own self, you can have a conversation with you. <laughs> 